my mum. I'm back. How we doing? Mum? Elijah? Is mum asleep or something? Um. Hey, evening, Big Brother. Where the hell have you been? Been looking for you all night. Just been down to the pub, that's all. What's up with you? It's, it's Mum. She's not here. She's missing. <laughs> what? Look, I don't know where she is, but the last time I checked, she was supposed to be under your supervision. I just got off the phone with the police. They're looking for her right now. How the hell can you let this happen? You know, you're just so careless. You always have been. We don't know where she is. We don't know what's going on. For all we know, she could be dead. Come on. She can't have gotten that far. No, we'll continue this in the morning. Just know that this, all of this, is on you. Under the circumstances, there's um, little else to say or do, really. And as seven years have passed, your mother, by law, is now presumed dead, as of today. And she requested that her estate be divided equally between the two of you. So the division of her assets will need to be made within the next few weeks. Right. Well, thanks for that. Yes, thank you. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Now, it may take some time to work through all of this, but um, I'll be in touch, okay? All right. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, Mum wanted you to have these. Mark and Elijah. I don't understand. What is it? Oh, I don't know. Please wanted to have a look when your mum first um, disappeared, but looking for a lead or something, but nothing. Anyway, I'll leave you to it, okay? 
Thanks for that. Take care. You are uh, leaving already? I've got to go home. Can I at least buy you a drink? Been up too much these past few years then? Nothing much? You? No, no, nothing really. You married? Yeah, yeah. I've got a wife. Just had our first kid, actually. That's good. Yeah, yeah, it is. We're really happy. So, you do well then? Yeah, I suppose. What about you? You see anyone? Me? <laughs> no. Can I have another, please? God, you always knew how to get through those, didn't you? Yeah. God. Never knew anyone who could quite drink like you. Remember those times down the pub? Oh, when we do the shots? <laughs> yeah, best of times. <laughs> when we got home, we could barely make it through the front door. And Mum always had that look on her face every time. Ah. Oh, can't believe it's been um, seven years. Yeah. Yeah, I miss her. You know, did say sorry, you know. What? For the way you treated me, after what happened. <laughs> no, no, come on. You pushed me away. You treated me like shit. Because you were responsible. You're the reason she's missing. It was a mistake. I made a mistake. I apologise. What more do you want? It was always your fault, Elijah. I don't know that. I have to live with that fact every day of my life. And you, if you even have decency to say, I forgive you. Look, look. Oh. I, I gave up my career to look after Mum. And yes, yes, I appreciate that you had work to provide, put food on the table, but we both sacrificed things. But I sacrificed more. Oh, give me a break. Oh, I'm not doing this. I'm not. Goodbye, Mark. Dearest boys, as my mental state continues to deteriorate, I recognise that I have little time left to properly talk to you both. We don't do that too much nowadays. Seeing the two of you drift apart over the years, from brothers and best friends to near strangers, it breaks my heart. I only hope that when I do eventually pass that you stay together, that you look out for one another, because what I fear most is that it will drive you apart. I ask that you learn to forgive each other, that you don't stray two ways. My health issues have caused a strain on this family, and if anyone's to blame for the two of you growing apart, it's me. You need each other, as I have needed you. I love you too so, so much.